Joining us to talk about, especially the Republican presidential race, Senator, former Senator Norm Coleman. Thank you good, so much. Good morning, Esme. Good morning. You were supporting Jeb Bush. Bush. What happened? You know, this is a, an election which people are looking for emotion over experience. Jeb had the experience, but that's not what folks are looking for. There's an anger out there, and justifiably so, when 70 cent of Americans can't uh, you know, live paycheck to paycheck. Uh, almost that same number think the country's moving in the wrong direction. So Donald Trump has done a good job of tapping into that. Donald Trump had a, had a good night last night, no question about that. Uh, the, que the question is, uh, he's got 32%. Uh, if, it's, if it's he and Marco Rubio, or it's two, him and one other, two others, does he, is there a ceiling or is it just a high floor? And at this point, all the pundits, we don't know what we know anymore. Because who would have thought that a guy that called President George W. Bush a liar gets in a fight with the Pope, uh, applauds Planned, Pan Planned Parenthood in a Republican debate in South Carolina, in eminent domain, and still ends up winning big. So uh, pundits don't know very much right now. All right. Who does Jeb Bush's exit help? Well, I think it has to help Marco Rubio. I think it helps Marco Rubio. You know, they talk about, quote, the establishment lane. And think about Marco, which is, which I think to his benefit, uh, he was a Tea Party guy originally. So he's not establishment, establishment. Jeb Bush was the establishment lane. Uh, so if Bush is out, I think it's going to help uh, Marco. And, and, and in part, my support for Marco is, you know, Jeb was the experienced guy, but they have a similar vision on foreign policy. They, un they understand that, that what it's going to take to defeat ISIS. They understand that uh, having Assad in power in Syria is, is, is a magnet for ISIS. And uh, the fact is that the other folks in the race don't understand that. So I think you'll see a natural, what it would be, whatever numbers Bush had, which weren't a lot, by the way, I think Marco will benefit from that. And are you going to be endorsing Senator Rubio? Oh, I have, I have endorsed you, Senator you, Yeah, you I, I, it, was, it was clear again. I think Jeb had the experience. I thought Jeb was, was most qualified to be commander in chief. He's not in the race. I, I think Marco is there. There's no question about that. I've, I've always been a fan and a friend of Marco. Uh, again, uh, you know, I chose Jed, but uh, Jeb is Now, listen, before that, as I was with Lindsey Graham, uh, again, a cook for foreign policy. So the guys that I've supported haven't done well, so I'm not sure if my endorsement of Marco is going to be very well, meaningful. Well, I, I think a lot of know. people in the Republican establishment who've worked, spent many years working for, on behalf of the Republican Party, you have two political action committees, are pretty concerned right now uh, because they don't like... Donald Trump, well, and they don't like Ted Cruz. Well, so it's not a matter of liking, it's about winning. So Donald Trump is the only person in this race who has higher negatives than Hillary Clinton. In the end, if you've got 30% of the Republican Party, which is about 40% of the electorate, that doesn't win you an election. Ted Cruz, by the way, I have great respect for, you know, plays very far to the right. And in the end, if you look at the numbers, it's about winning nationally. Uh, and I know this may, you know, offend some of my folks in the, in the party, uh, uh, that, that not everyone is a hard, hardcore conservative. Most Americans center-right. Somewhat, you've got to get the middle to win. You've got to get Reagan, Democrats, et cetera. So Trump, the concern is not that there's people dislike him, uh, but the fact is he, he's can't, it doesn't look like he can win you know, what it takes to win a national race. And if that's the case, former years of, of Barack Obama with the policies for Hillary Clinton will not be good for America. All right. So, so you don't think he can win the national election, right. but certainly looks like he has a very good chance of winning the nomination. He has a very good chance of winning the nomination. There's no question about that. But I also think it's important to understand that uh, when Nevada gets finished, uh, so you'll have Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Nevada, I think you'll have about 6% of the total number of delegates that have been chosen. And, and so this race still has a long way to go, a long way to go. But clearly, Really good night for Donald Trump, no question about that. All right. I think a lot of people have heard about your battle with cancer that you went public with, stage four cancer. You have had a remarkable recovery so far. Tell people well, about in, that. Well, in, in part, uh, a lot of prayer and, and the Mayo Clinic, and I've been very, very blessed. Uh, so I had, you know, I have uh, stage four cancer in my tonsil, my throat, and my neck. Uh, been through treatment at Mayo, had surgery, was had chemotherapy, had radiation, uh, and my docs are, are feel fairly confident. Surgery that I have, excuse me, the cancer that I have is treatable. And so my, my pitch out there to, to your, your view is, is if you've got that little sore throat, maybe a little lump in your neck, uh, Go to the doc early. Check it out. If I had if I had acted early, I would not have had stage four. If I had acted early, I might have gotten it while I was in my tonsil. The good news was that it was encapsulated in the tonsil, and they took out the lymph nodes that had cancer. Uh, but early detection really is the key. So you got that little spot on your skin, that lump in your neck, that little pain that doesn't go away. Check it out. Chances of success are very good with what science is doing today. And thank God we have the Mayo Clinic, by the way, in the University of Minnesota, and, and, and Fairview, and yeah. all these others. We've got great medical care in Minnesota. All right. Well, Senator Coleman, great to see you. You look great, and that's great news about the treatment. It's a pleasure. Thank all you. Right. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.